I want to make some beef patties today. I didn't just want to eat some beef, so I just, uh, you know, I'm making patties. And this is my um, food processor, and in here I cut up some pieces of meat that I have in the fridge, cut them up small, put them in the food processor, and some um, scallion, onion, thyme, you know, and seasoning. Whatever seasoning you like, um, and I'm going to chop it up in the, uh, pressure in, the, in the food processor and i'm gonna cook it so follow along while i go step by step after this i'm gonna make the um the dough all right so let's see i'll show you the next so step i'm putting in the meat you know, i warm it up a little bit i didn't want it to be too hot i go fly up in your face and you drop it in the face but anyway put in the meat I want it pumping. So I added some breadcrumbs to the meat and it's pretty wet as you can see. It's pretty wet. You want it wet. You don't want it dry because remember it's going to be baked again. So you want it wet. And I'm going to drop a little bit of water in here. Again, just to make sure it's pretty wet. This is the pastry dough. And I rolled out my pastry. And you can follow the pastry that I put for um, puff pastry. Or you can look at the, um, the pastry I made for chicken patties. So we're going to cut these out. This is pretty thick because I'm going to roll that out again. And we're just cutting them out with the, this um, cutter. Um, I'm just gonna cut them out, roll them out, and then so I'm I'll show you um, Pyrex dish here, and I roll out some larger ones. I roll out some smaller ones, but I roll some large ones, and we're gonna put the patties inside of them. You put the patties, you put the beef on top of the, the dough, and you make sure to roll it right over. And if it's poking out like we put too much, you um take off some and then you squeeze it. Press the top. Press the edges. And you lay them on a tree like that. Oh, I forgot to stick. I got to poke holes in it. So it don't puff up. You know, the steam will come out that way. Okay, so I'm going to do some more and when they're baked, I'll show you. You beat up some eggs a little bowl. One egg. I just beat one egg. And you make sure to coat the patties with the egg mixture after you beat it. But these will come out much nicer. A nice color will form on them. And see things in. There you go. Put some egg wash. We call this egg wash. You know. Egg wash all over. All of them. And put them in the oven. When they bake, they will be golden brown and lovely looking. Put it back in. So the beef patties are baked and um, they're ready, hot, but ready, see? They baked all through um, chicken patties and you'll see exactly what I do. And these are beef and they're gonna be eaten in no time. <laughs> and they're crunchy and delicious. They had dinner already, but you can look and see how the pastry is just falling. It's really great. This is the puff pastry. You can look for the puff pastry recipe, or you can look at the uh, beef, the chicken patty recipe. These are really great. Mm -hmm. You can taste all the seasoning. Yeah. Well, it's good pastry make good patties. You can try these, and um, we do this for dinner pretty often. I have the chicken patty, and also have the, the um, spinach patty or you could use um, you could use other greens anything you want to put inside of a patty you could put shrimp you know anyway these are the um, beef patties and they came out lovely and delicious and we eat most of them already thanks for watching please if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe okay thank you 
thank you for watching thank